Hello guys, this is Luis. I'm going to show you how to configure a IPsec tunnel for remote access. In another video, I show you how to configure this on SSL VPN protocol. If you want to know how to do that, please check the video. We got a client who is working from home and he needs access to these resources. Notice that we are using a VLAN. This server is on the VLAN 10. And also notice that our Sophos XG is behind a router. By default, all the ports on a router are blocked or are closed. So we need a way to open the IPsec service on this router. I will show you how to do that. So let's start to configure our tunnel. Go to our Sophos XG and then go to administration. Wait a moment and go to device access. Please check this. On the one part, check IPsec. Then check VPN portal and select on the one part VPN portal and user portal. Then go to VPN and select ping VPN portal and user portal. Then apply. Now it's time to create a group. Go to authentication, go to groups and add a new group. Now complete this field. Group name, for example, IPsec group. Group type, normal. Policies, surfing quota, unlimited internet access. Access time, allowed all the time. Network traffic, none. Traffic shaping, none. And we can save this configuration. Now it's time to create a user. Go to the users, add a new user, and complete these fields. For example, username will be my name, Luis. Name, Luis. User type, user, and set a password. Email. Select a group, IPsec group, and then you can save. Now it's time to configure our tunnel go to remote access vpn and then enable ipsec remote access select your interface that is connected to your router in this case is the port 2 ipsec profile select default remote access and authentication type select pre-share key and here you must fill out your pre-share key Select your allowed users and groups. In this case, we are going to select IPsec group. Apply. Write a name for your connection. For example, IPsec home. Set the IP that your VPN clients will receive when they connect to the VPN. For example, this and set the DNS server.
if you have an internal DNS server, write the IP here. I recommend you to disable this option. Doing this when our VPN clients try to connect to the internet, they won't pass through our Sophos XG. Let's go back to our topology and look at this. Our client needs access to these resources, the VLAN 10 and the LAN part. So let's add those LANs here, those networks. Add network. Type network. Write the IP address of the network. Let's add the VLAN 10. Now you can apply. Oh, wait a moment. Now apply. Go back to our topology. Look at this. Our client needs access to this part and we got a router who has a firewall. We will set up a DMC on this router. Go to our router. In expert mode, select internet. Go to DMC. Activate the DMC. And here we are going to set our one IP of our Sophos. If you want, if you go to network, and go to interfaces all, you will see the IP of our one part here. Apply. Now our Sophos will manage all the services and all the ports. Open this. Extract these files. Open this folder. Now click on export connection. Then save it. Open this file, the SCX file with a text editor. And we need to change this. Go to IP chicken, copy your public IP and paste the IP on this field. Save. Then you can open this file with Sophos Connect. Open Sophos Connect, double click on IPsec.com We have done our lab successfully. If you want to learn more about networking, subscribe to my channel. You will notice at first that almost all of my videos are on Spanish, but I am trying to upload 
English videos. So please comment if you like the video and share if you want it.